everyone, Gene Clausen speaking, and welcome aboard now for a trip with Iowa's Hawkeyes to Ann Arbor, Michigan. Some 50 Iowa players, coaches, trainers, equipment men take off from Iowa City for the two-hour flight to Ann Arbor. This week, it's the third Hawkeye game, the second conference game of the season. Iowa having defeated Michigan State 14 to 10 and Montana 48 to 6 last week. Here's the plane now leaving the Iowa City Airport. The Hawkeye players now en route inside the big ship. Iowa flying to all its games this year. Now up front with the pilot. Now the Hawkeyes, some two hours later, landing at Ann Arbor. Iowa's Captain Binky Broder, and now the Hawkeyes leaving the plane. Quarterback Jerry Ryko and end Jim Freeman. Line coach Bob Flora. Two fans on hand for the game today. Weather is just about perfect. Coming out on the field now, the maize and blue representing the University of Michigan. Michigan. There are the Iowa Hawkeyes in their travel uniforms of white, gold, and black. And black. The captains at midfield, Ted Patchy of Michigan. And Iowa's Finky Broder. Michigan wins the toss, and the Hawkeyes will defend the south goal and will kick off. There's the Michigan squad warming up. And onto the field, the huge University of Michigan marching band. Some of the Iowa fans in the crowd there, around 2,000 making the trip. raising of the flag and the national anthem preceding the game. Iowa's Jim Freeman kicking off. It's picked up by Hickey, the right halfback. He fumbles the ball, and the Hawkeyes recover. Warren Lawson, the Iowa center, recovering. There's Iowa set to go. Ryko is the quarterback. And he takes it on a quarterback sneak. Picks up about three yards. There's Ryko handing off to his fullback, Binky Broder. Binky is down to the nine. Iowa shifts now into the single wing from the split tee. There's Broder again at right tackle. And this time it's Smith into the line. First and ten for the Hawkeyes, first and goal to go. Ryko on the option play, down to about the three. Hand off this time to Eddie Vincent. He's not quite over, down to about the one-foot line, and there goes Ryko, scoring for the Hawks. Iowa leading six to nothing. Five for the extra point by Jim Freeman. And the kick is no good. It's wide off to the left. Freeman again kicking off for the Hawkeyes. Another good kick downfield. Fine this time, number 44 returning. And they knock him down on the 33. McDonald, the quarterback, and the handoff goes to Hill, number 45, the fullback. Hill fumbles, and the Hawkeyes recover. All recovering for Iowa, number 75, the left guard. Vincent is in motion. Ryko gives the handoff to Earl Smith, the left halfback. Smith down to the 25. Here's Ryko back to pass. 
And it's no good intended for Smith in the end zone way over his head. Vincent in motion. And off to Pinky Broder. And they stop him on the 18 yard line. Here's the reverse going to Eddie Vincent. And he's knocked out on the five yard line. Ten yard game for Vincent. Here's Ryko pitching back, fumbling, and Broder recovers. Lucky break there for the Hawks. Ryko on a trap to Binky. The Iowa pull back down to the Michigan 7. Here's a handoff to Smith. Nice fake by Smith, and the Hawkeyes score their second touchdown early in the first quarter. Freeman again set to kick the extra point. This time it's Hawkeyes being charged with a penalty, illegal formation. So they try it again. Kick this time is good, and the Hawkeyes lead midway in the quarter, 13 to nothing. Freeman kicking off again for the third time for the Hawkeyes. And it's taken by Klein, the left halfback, number 44. And they knock Klein out of bounds at about the 42-yard line. Here's Maddock in a quarterback. The handoff goes to Hickey, number 18. Hickey, the right halfback. Klein at left. There's Hickey with the ball again. And he's down into Iowa territory at about the 48. Now for the Wolverines. There's Klein, left halfback, picking up a couple of yards. Maddox giving the ball to Hickey. Stopped by Terry Shuck. Maddox faking, can't find anyone open, so he runs with the ball. Down to the Iowa 37. Quarterback sneak by Maddock, trying to pick up the first down, which he did. Here's Hill, the fullback, right through the middle. And he's brought down on the Iowa 24, tackled by Jim Freeman. Maddock giving the ball to Hickey, the right halfback. He's down to the Iowa 13, first and 10. Hickey again with the ball. And they knock him down on the two-yard line. Michigan bench. There it goes to Hickey. Stop for a yard loss. Maddock on the option play. Keeps the ball. Gains nothing. Ball still on the three-yard line. Michigan over into the sing wing. Here's the fullback Hill, and he's over for a Michigan touchdown. Iowa leads 13 to six. Ball set for the tracks point. Kick by Kramer, and it's good. For 87 Kramer, the left end. Iowa now leads 13 to seven. Late in the first quarter. Kickoff by Kramer. And it's into the end zone. The Hawkeyes will take over on the 20, but there's an offside against Michigan, so a five-yard penalty, and Kramer kicks over. This time the return is by Eldine Matheson, number 12, in for the Hawkeyes. The left half Becky returns to the 33. Debrino is the quarterback. Bobby Stearns, the right half back, Jim Head at fullback. Mm -hmm. 
minute to go. Here's Debrino on the option play around left end. Picks up a couple of yards before he's stopped on the 37. Teams change goals. The Hawkeyes going south now in the second quarter. Here's the handoff to number 42. Head and he fumbles. And let's see who recovered. The Wolverines recover on the Michigan 42. McDonald back in a quarterback. And Bear, number 30, is the new fullback for Michigan. He's through the middle for about six yards. McDonald again giving to Bear, and he's up to the Wolverine 48. Bear again. Through the middle down to the Iowa 48, picking up four. First and ten for Michigan. And off goes to the right half back, Corey. McDonald back to pass. It's knocked down by Earl Smith, who almost intercepted. Here's McDonald back to pass. Broken up by Earl Smith, intended for Kramer. Michigan, back to punt, Kramer kicking. And Smith takes it for the Hawkeyes on the three yard line. And there's Bear tackling him right on the three. Hawkeyes push back deep. Reiko, the quarterback, gives the handoff to Eddie Vincent, picks up about three yards to the six. Reichel on the option play, loses a couple. Back to the four. Hand off to Eddie Vincent, the right half back. Gets two yards back. Running for the Hawkeyes, Binky Broder. High kick, not too far downfield. Takes a bad bounce for the Hawkeyes, and it's down just about the 30-yard line. Michigan first and 10 on the Iowa 31. Bear, the fullback with the ball, through the middle of the line for a couple of yards to the Iowa 29. Here's the fullback, giving the handoff to Maddock. Back in a quarterback, a long pass by Maddock. Broken up nicely by Eddie Vincent, intended for Kramer, the left end. Maddock back to pass again. Fires a long one. And Kramer makes a nice catch, goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Ball game is all tied up, 13 and 13. Here's the try for extra point. The kick by Kramer, and it's good. Michigan leading in the ball game, 14 to 13, eight minutes to go in the first half. Kick off by Kramer, and it's out of bounds. So the Wolverines will have to boot it again. Kramer's kickoff this time is deep down the middle. Taking to Hawkeyes is Earl Smith up to the 10, the 15, the 20, hit down on 26. Iowa first and 10, Ryko's the quarterback. Hands it off to Earl Smith. And he's dropped on the Iowa 23. Iowa ships in tight. In motion to the left is Vincent. Pitch out goes to fullback Binky Broder. Knocked down on the 26-yard line. Fumble, but after the play, it ended. Again, the shift by the Hawks. Ryko on the option play. Passes. And it's out of bounds. Intended for Vicky Broder. 
Broken up by Hill. Broder kicking for the Hawkeyes on fourth down. Picked up by Klein. And he's knocked out of bounds by Yaley. On the Michigan 38. Vanek the quarterback back to pass. No good. Intended for Veselanik. Back Hill, number 45, back in the ball game. Carries to the 43. Maddock, the quarterback, back to pass. Going to run with the ball instead, and he makes about a yard. Front formation, Kramer kicking. Michigan downs the ball on the Iowa 30 yard line. Brino, the quarterback of Michigan, is offside making contact as the Hawkeyes shift. So it's first and five for Iowa on the 35. Debrino back to pass. And he's smacked down on the Hawkeye 23. Here's Debrino, back to pass, lets it go just in time, and it's caught by Gilliam. Nice catch by Iowa's left end, Frank Gilliam. Debrino on the option play, keeps the ball, moves up to the 39. Wegman in at fullback for Iowa. And off to Bobby Stearns, the right halfback, makes a couple of yards. Good enough for the first down for Iowa. And off goes to Bobby Stearns. Debrino, back to pass. A long one. And it's caught by Earl Smith, and he's tackled from behind by Corey. Saving a touchdown for Michigan. First and 10 Iowa late in the first half. Right go back in a quarterback now. He pitches back to Bobby Stearns. A left-handed pass by Stearns. In the end zone, no good. Intended for Gilliam, broken up by Klein. Here's Ryko back to pass again. And it's intercepted. Intercepted by Mentz, the right end. And he's tackled from behind by Frank Gilliam. First and ten now for Michigan. Here's McDonald back in a quarterback, and Swedberg tackles him back on the 20-yard line. McDonald again back to pass. And it's no good. Here's the fullback, Bayer. Picking up about a yard on the play. Hit by Hall. There's the end of the first half. Players leaving for the dressing rooms. The Hawkeyes trailing Michigan 14 to 13. And now bands from more than 100 Michigan high schools Come out on the field for halftime ceremonies. More than 6,500 musicians. Along with the Michigan band in the foreground. This is an annual event at Michigan with bands coming from all over the Wolverine State. Some of the fans on the east side of the stadium. Back to the bands, and now let's go down and see Abby.
Here we are down in the dressing room at Ann Arbor with the Hawkeyes trailing Michigan 14 to 13. Evie, I'm uh, just wondering whether or not the Hawkeyes um, didn't take prosperity too well in getting those quick touchdowns early in the ball game, leading 13 to nothing. And did they let down after that? Well, they let down after that considerably, Gene. I don't know if it's uh, due to the fact we got two easy touchdowns or because we're not up. It's the first time uh, that I can recall that the Iowa team is is looking this horrible uh, since I've been at Iowa. I think that we've been outcharged and outfought. That's the thing that bothers me. Whether we can come back in this next time remains to be seen. Uh, do you think they've underestimated Michigan quite a bit? Well, uh, it appears so. Uh, Michigan is not a very good team, Gene, and uh, that's what uh, disturbed me more than anything else. Uh, if they were a good ball club, then there would be a reason to be behind. But when we got two quick ones, why, actually, we should have about a four-touchdown lead in Michigan at this time. It was a pretty uh, tough for a team to come back after taking an early lead, uh, getting two, um, so to speak, cheap touchdowns on those fumbles, and have the other ball club take the lead. Is it uh, pretty tough for the kids to come back? Well, Gene, it depends upon how far they're down. Uh, I think they, they might be able to, to come back, but we'll have to improve a great deal. Anything from an encouraging standpoint that's taken place the first half? No, uh, nothing except uh, bad news. Uh, Terry Shuck will not be able to play. Uh, Dr. Paul just said that he was to be kept out, and looks like Roger swetberg has got a bad knee, and he's done two for the second half, so. In two bad positions. That's right. As far as depth is concerned. Is Michigan uh, using anything new, Evie? No, they're, in fact, they surprised me that they're not uh, throwing more. They're, they're mainly doing it on a running game, and uh, I just didn't think that Michigan was strong enough to run against us. And do you think perhaps that Michigan a week ago was, uh, or was looking ahead beyond the Army game or not? Is that Well, I, I think they, they probably were. They've been preparing for this for a long time, and their defenses are something that's kind of this puzzle right now. They're doing a lot of stunning in the middle, and... Uh, floating their ends and uh, giving us very little uh, to go on, and I don't think that we've uh, thrown nearly enough, except when we get in the hole, and, and the success of a pass decreases with a down, and we've got to have more first down passes if we're going to get them out of that defense. Well, let's go out now and take a look at the second half of this Michigan-Iowa game. All set to go again, the kickoff by Michigan to open the second half. Kick over the end zone. The Hawkeyes take over on the 20. Ryko's the quarterback. Broder at fullback. Earl Smith at left and Eddie Vincent at right. Quarterback sneak for a couple of yards by Ryko. Here's Ryko on the option play. Gives it to Earl Smith. And he's stopped on about the 34-yard line. First and 10 for the Hawkeyes. This time it's Bobby Stearns in. He gets nowhere. Stearns in at right halfback. Pitch out goes to Binky Broder. Beg your pardon to Bobby Stearns on the last play. This time it's Binky Broder on a trap. And he's up to midfield. Reverse, and a fumble by Stearns. Michigan recovers. Michigan takes over, first and ten. Maddock is the quarterback. Klein, the left halfback, number 44. And he's hit behind the line of scrimmage by Swedberg. Maddock back to pass. And there's an interception by Binky Broder. Hawkeyes get the ball back. First and ten, Iowa. Here's Ryko. He pitches back to Bobby Stearns. Tackle on the Michigan 44. And off to Pinky Broder for two yards. Reverse this time to Earl Smith.
Jerry Ryko trying to pass. And they tackle him behind the line. Back now on the 47. Punt formation. Pinky Broder kicking for the Hawkeyes. And it's down with the Hawkeyes on the 16 yard line. First and 10 for the Wolverines. Here's Hill, number 45, caught behind the line. Maddock gives it to Hickey, the right halfback. Up the sidelines, Jerry Ryko makes the tackle. Hill on the spinner gives to Hickey. Goes up to the 29, first and 10 for Michigan. And off again to Hickey, the right halfback. Maddock on a quarterback sneak. And off to Hill, the fullback. Maddock on the option play. First and ten again for Michigan. Maddock gives the handoff to Hickey. And he's knocked out of bounds by head on the Iowa 35. Bayer now in at fullback, punches down to the 29 of Iowa. Maddock to Hickey. Now it goes to Bayer, the fullback, down to the 22. First and 10. Maddock running with the ball. And he's caught down after a two-yard gain. Maddock to Klein. Klein for a couple of yards. This time it's to Hickey. Into the single wing now for Michigan. Full back, Bayer. Hit by Suki, a fumble. And the Hawkeyes recover. First and 10, Iowa. On the Iowa 13 yard line. Michigan is offside. First and five now for the Hawkeyes. Debrino. At quarterback, head the fullback, Matheson at left half back, Vincent at right half. There's Bino on the option play, picks up about five yards. Now we go into the fourth quarter, Iowa trailing 14 to 13. There's Head, the fullback, stopped from the 22. Reno with the ball on the option play picks up about three. In motion is Vincent. And off goes to Matheson, the left half back. Reno to his right keeps the ball. And he's hit down after picking up a first down for the Hawkeyes. Reno gives it to head up to the Iowa 44. Head the fullback fumbles but the Hawkeyes recover. Ball now back on the 38. Iowa, illegal formation. Here's Debrino faking, going back to pass. And he completes it to Eddie Vincent. Loss of yardage, however, on the play. In front formation, Vicky Broder kicking for the Hawks. And it's taken on the 17 by Klein, returns to the 20. Maddock, the quarterback, 
gives it to Corey. This time it's Dave Hill carrying the fullback. Hill again in the middle of the line. Up to the 30 and he's tackled on the 32. First and 10 for the Wolverines. Offside against Michigan. Offset by an Iowa penalty and the Wolverines keep the ball. Here's Bayer handing off to Klein. Trapped behind the line, gets away from a couple of boys, and makes it up to the line of scrimmage. And off given to Hickey on a reverse. Knee touched back on the line of scrimmage. There the fullback for Michigan. Tackled by Debrino and Suki. First and ten for the Wolverines. And off again to Bayer. Offside. Contact made in the middle of the line. I was penalized five yards. Michigan into the single wing. There the fullback again, punching in the middle. First and ten. And off to Klein. He stopped after about a yard gain. Hickey with the ball now, number 18. And he's tackled by Matheson on the PR line. First and ten. Fullback Bear punching down to the Hawkeye 25. On reverse, Hickey with the ball, tackled by DC. No gain on the play. Hickey again with the ball for one yard. Michigan into the single wing. Klein, the left half back, fades back, passes, and it's no good. Intended for Knickerbocker. Guys take over, first and ten. The quarterback is Jerry Ryko. Passes incomplete. Ryko again back to pass. Force back to the eight yard line, back to the five. And he passes incomplete. Ryko again fading back to pass. Completes it to Wegman. He's tackled behind the line by Mentz. Three minutes to go, 14 to 13, Michigan. Iowa kicking out Binky Broder from his two. And it's taken by Knickerbocker. Tackled by Eddie Vincent. Back on the 44. Here's Maddock. And the handoff to Hill loses. Lee Artich. Handoff into Hill. Bayer now will pull back. There with the ball in the middle of the line for about three yards. Formation is Kramer, the left end, picks down field. Mickey Broder on the 24. It's away from one man. And he's tackled on the 34-yard line. 
Iowa ball first and ten on the Iowa 34. Hand off to Big Roller quarterback Jerry Ryko. Picked up about a yard. Ryko the quarterback. Back to pass. Going to run with it instead. Up to the 40 and knocked down the flat. First and 10 for the Hawkeyes. Ryko the quarterback passes in the flat. It's no good. Iowa stick again. Three now in at quarterback. Passing down the middle and it's intercepted by Bear. Tackled by Eddie Vincent. Bear number 30 intercepted. McDonald now in a quarterback for Michigan. McDonald trying to use up the clock. Was in the line on the quarterback sneak. There's the end of the ball game. 14 to 13, Michigan defeating the Hawkeyes. Well, there you have it, the end of the game. Iowa losing 14 to 13 by the identical score we lost up here a year ago. Evie, uh, you think maybe a jinx is working on us or something up here two years straight? Now we lose by an eyelash. No, I think there's no jinx. I think it was a letdown by the Iowa team and the uh, great comeback by the Michigan team. And uh, the Michigan boys just wanted to win a little bit more than the Iowa team. Gene, that's a story. Uh, there was no reason for Iowa to give that 13-point lead they had uh, up to Michigan. Michigan just outcharged us and outfought us. Uh, that's the story right there. If there were any uh, decided breaks in the ball game, that would be something else. But uh, after a game such as this, you've just got to say uh, we got licked by a team that wanted to play football a little harder than we did. And um, I don't want to take away from uh, this Michigan team, Gene, but I, I don't think Michigan's going to win many ball games this year. Uh, they're uh, not the Michigan team of a year ago or of other seasons. And I think that uh, since I've been in Iowa, uh, this is the poorest uh, that the boys have lived up to capacity. Evie, I just heard uh, as the game ended that Ohio State did a good job handling Illinois today, 40-7. to seven. And uh, how does that bode for next week since we played the Buckeyes down at Columbus? Well, we needed this victory, uh, Gene, uh, to get to Ohio State. I think that uh, this would have given us a little more confidence if we got by this game playing one of our bad games. Uh, we might have risen to the occasion next week. I'm not saying that we can't rise to it, but it's going to be make our job a lot tougher uh, uh, this coming Saturday against Ohio State uh, rather than uh, uh, having a ball game like we played today, especially where sloppy tackling and just uh, lack of fire and punch beat us. Is Ohio perhaps uh, a sleeper in the Big Ten this oh, year? Oh, I think so, yes. They have a very fine backfield with Watkins and Cassidy and Leggett and two fine ends, and, and their line is the big thing that's improved uh, this year. A year ago, they were making touchdowns, but they're giving them all away through their line. And I guess this year, they're, they've got a, a forward wall that's pretty tough to run against. Well, it looks like a tough game coming up next week, and let's hope the injured boys come along this week and you go into that fall game at full strength.